Hello friends, Namaskar. Filing of the ITR is a very important aspect on the part of any SSC. However, when an ITR is required to be filed, there are different kind of ITR related concepts prevailing which an SSC needs to know about. And two of the important aspects in this regard are to understand what is a revised return, when it may be filed and what is an updated return, when it may be filed. And is there any overlapping between them or what is the comparison between them? Through this video, I am trying to put up my views on the topic for the benefit of public at large. So before I do a comparison between these two concepts, let me first put up when to file a revised ITR. That is, who is the person who should think of filing a revised return? One, when there is an omission or wrong statement in the original ITR, that is the first and foremost aspect of somebody being put up to file revised ITR. Now, what is an omission? Suppose you omitted to file certain income, to report certain income in your ITR, then that is a case of an omission. Or you reported certain deductions, you reported certain income, but it has not been rightly reported, it has been reported wrong in your return, then you can think of filing a revised return. Further, you may also think of increasing or decreasing total income, refund, demand or loss in your revised return. What I am trying to put up before you, that mind you my dear friend, revised return is a two-way concept. Here, you may either enhance your income or you may decrease your income. You may enhance your losses, you may reduce your losses. You may enhance your tax liability, you may reduce your tax liability. You may claim a refund, you may pay the tax liability. So, a revised return gives the assessee full liberty to go either way. That is in the favor of the assessee or in the favor of department as the case may be. To put it up through an example, I may further elaborate it in such a manner, say for an example, assessment year 22-23, the due date of filing original return was 31st of July 2022. Say somebody has filed his return by this date and thereafter she files that there is some income which she could not report in her return. So she may think of filing a revised return and in that case, the last date of filing the revised return was 31st of December 2022. So, the concept of revised return goes when somebody finds that there is an omission or wrong statement in the return filed by him or her. One very important aspect to be taken care of here is that not only an original ITR filed in time, in time may be revised, but even a belated return may be revised. So, a belated ROI may also be revised by an SSE if there is time limit available as per section 139 subsection 5 of income tax law to file such revised return. Now, we should understand when to file an updated return as compared to filing a revised return. Number one, when you find that you need to report certain income which is not reported by your filing of ITR or you reported certain income but the same has been short reported and the time limit of filing an original return, belated return or revised return has already expired. So there are two things which are important here. One, who may file a updated return, who has not filed ITR at all or who has already filed, both the persons can file a updated return, very important aspect. If you have not filed a return and you find that you have taxable income, then you can think of filing updated return. If you have already filed a return and you find that there is a short income reported in the original ITR, then also you may think of filing updated ITR. So both the scenarios, a person gets opportunity to file updated ITR. Now what is the main benefit of filing an updated ITR which I am continuously provoking even through some other videos which I have created on the topic that basically updated ITR my dear friends will help you to save your penalty. Which penalty I am talking here? The penalty as per section 270A of Income Tax Act 1961 which may range between 50% to 200%. If it is only a case of underreporting, 50% tax amount will be subjected to penalty equivalent to that amount. And if you are a case of a misreporting and higher, the, higher are the chances that department will treat it as a misreported income, then in that case 200% of the tax amount will be leviable as penalty. Further, the continuing interest on the income offered in the ITR will also stop somewhere as per section 234B, whatever interest is payable, if you will file an updated return. 
If suppose you don't file an updated return and later you are assessed, then in that case, higher are the chances that you will be also subject matter of interest under section 234B up to the assessment is getting completed. So, updated ITR is primarily made for those who have not filed original ITR or belated ITR or have filed original or belated ITR or maybe even a revised ITR and such person finds that the income is not reported properly or it is reported but it is short reported and there is some tax payable therein. Now my dear friends, I am putting up a comparative analysis between 139.5 and updated return which is dealt with under 139.8a for the benefit of uh, an understanding development that say for example assessment year 22-23, I am comparing here of that there is a revised ITR option or there is an updated ITR option available with the assessee. So the first question comes up to when either an revised return or an updated return may be filed. For the assessment year 22-23, the revised return last date has already expired that was 31st of December 2022. But you see in comparison to it, updated ITR may be filed even up to 31st of March 2025. Here, if you file such updated ITR up to 31st of March 2024, you will be liable to pay additional tax which will be 25% of tax plus interest payable. And if you file beyond that but up to 31st of March 2025, you will be liable to pay 50% of the tax plus interest amount as additional tax. Whether previous ITR is a must, my dear friends, for filing revised ITR, an original return is a must. Maybe it was filed 139.1 manner, that is in time, or maybe it was filed within 139.4, that is belated return. However, for updated return, there may be a previous return case, but it is not a must. Maybe that you have already filed an ITR and you are again updating a return or you have not filed an ITR at all and first time you are filing return which is to be termed as updated return. Whether it attracts any fees under section 234F, my dear friends, 234F is the fee payable for non-filing of the return or for belated filing of the return. Where you have filed an original return in time while revising the return, no 234F fees shall be payable. But where you have not filed a return, you have filed a return which was belated, belated return and you are filing a revised return, then even such revised return may attract the penalty, maybe 1000, 5000 as the case may be. However, it is for sure that since the updated return is being filed after the due date expiry, that do that too with the tax liability and interest, so it will attract 234F fees most probably. Whether it attracts any additional tax, my dear friends, while you are filing revised return, there is no case of any additional tax liability levyable over and above the tax and interest payable by the SSC. But as I have spoken earlier, that in updated return, either 25% or 50% of the tax plus interest shall be payable while you are filing an updated return. Whether enhanced refund or loss may be claimed in revised return, yes sir, as I have told you earlier that even you can enhance your refund or losses in a revised return. But in updated return, such a facility is not available because it is basically meant to pay the tax liability rather than claiming any refund or enhancing your losses. How many times a revised return may be filed? My dear friends, there is no time limit theoretically because till the time limit of filing revised return is available, you may file n number of revised returns. However, as far as updated return concept is available, that can be filed once only for an assessment year. So while you are doing your final work for updated return, please be cautious that it can be filed once only. So I hope this understanding will be very much useful to the assessees. To end my dear friends, I must say that updated return is an opportunity to the assessees who feel that there is some tax payable by them or there is some short payment of tax on their part and they need to ensure that their proper tax compliance is done because this will give them a kind of relief in form of continuing interest and in form of uh, not facing any penalty consequences under section 270a of income tax law. So I hope you might have found the content of this video worth uh, for your reference. Thank you very much for being with me. Wishing you all the best. Jai.